So now in an earlier video, we looked at if you are protecting an LED, in this case it's gonna be a red LED from 12 volts, you're probably gonna want at least a one kilo ohm resistor. So that's not gonna get you all the way to the uh, 20 milliamp uh, limit of the LED, but it prevents the resistor from overheating. If you have 12 volts, a red LED is probably gonna drop about two volts from reaching the resistor. After that point, the resistor sets the current through the two of them. And so you'll have 10 volts across the resistor, approximately. So to calculate how much current is gonna flow through there, this is Ohm's law. You got 10 volts divided by 1,000 ohms equals uh, 0 0.01 amps right there, 10 milliamps. Now, you take that current and you multiply it by the voltage to get the wattage. That's how hot the resistor is going to get, how much heat it has to dissipate, actually. And uh, so we got the 0.1 watts. They're rated generally for 0.25 watts. So that's well below that, but you should still keep it below 0.125 watts. That's recommended. So this is right below the recommended wattage to uh, keep a resistor at. So there's a simple solution if we want to get 20 milliamps of current in this circuit. That's to put another one kilo ohm resistor in parallel with the original one right there. And then each one of them will have 10 volts across them. Each one of them will pass 10 milliamps of current. And uh, both of those currents will pass through the LED. It doesn't limit current. It just drops some voltage. And uh, here's a pictorial of uh, what that will look like. But I also have it on the uh, breadboard over here for a real life demonstration. So the power supply, you can see we got uh, set to 12 volts. I have current limit to uh, 30 milliamps because we are gonna get to 20. So if uh, we just have it set to 20, it'll have a constant current on here. So we'll, uh, we'll lower that and see if we hit that. But in any case, we will come to uh, the circuit here. And now you'll see when I add another LED, this uh, another resistor I mean, the LED got a bit brighter right there. So not terribly brighter, when you go from 10 to uh, 20 milliamps of current, but uh, just in case for some reason they got cut off, but uh, it did get a little bit brighter. So if you need that 20 milliamps, there you can see we got that. Now you can see we got constant current right there. This is preventing the power supply from letting any more than uh, 20 milliamps of current go. So maybe it was higher than 20 milliamps, you don't know for sure until you set that higher. Now you can see that uh, we set our constant current up to 30, we can all put 30 milliamps, and uh, we are not exceeding uh, 20 right there. We are at 20 milliamps. So, in any case, that's it for this circuit. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.